Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. So, uh, last episode was, like, slightly over some, and I found out that it was because of, uh, me recording, uh, Love is Strange, and, and I moved the whole thing over. You can probably go see me do it. And I thought that I had a separate, uh, recording app set up for, uh, the, the, the two separate things, and it turns out one was on top of the other, so I wasn't using the one that I was supposed to have been using, and it turned into this whole mess, so I apologize, please forgive me for the, the thing. You might not even have noticed, because I didn't notice when I was editing it until I, I went to check a comment on it, um, actually a little while ago, and, and then I noticed it, and I was like, when did that happen? What, what's going on? And then I went and uh, opened up my recording software, and that's what happened. Anyway, I apologize. Please forgive me. Don't don't hate me forever. It was very amateur. I'm sorry. I'm learning. All right. Okay. So moving on, pretending like that never happened. Uh, anyone way in the future? Uh, hopefully you just uh, just just roll over that episode. Anyway. Okay. So, we're gonna talk to Asahina first. Uh, she was in the hallway, I think, right? Kinda not doing a whole lot. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, the way Sakura used to. Sakura did do that. But, I didn't have any luck. Go figure. I... Uh, they've all got iron plates covering them. There's no way out through the fifth floor, then. Plus, I noticed a little something about the structure of this of the school. Okay, well we gotta we gotta we gotta um, click on that. I usually wait to see if there's another option no afterwards before I pick the first option. But here we go. What did you notice, Essahina? Did you actually explore the fifth floor, Negi? <laughs> yeah. Are you are you? <laughs> huh? Why do you ask? Exactly. Duh. If you had, you would have noticed what the other floors have that the first, the, the fifth floor doesn't. A staircase to the next floor, right? Something the other floors have, but the fifth floor doesn't. Are you talking about stairs? As I recall, there was no staircase going up to the fifth floor, was there? That, that's something I did point out last episode. You mean, the fifth floor's the end? Very probably. We've finally seen it all, the whole academy. <laughs> Sorta, there's some locked doors up in there. All that's left is to crack the mysteries hidden within. That's no small fish to fry, dude. A bigger fish just means more to eat. Yeah. Yeah, Asahita. Yeah, Asahita's right. I think. We'll be fine. I know it. As long as we all work together, we'll be able to pull something off. I swear, we'll get out of this. We have to. Okie dokie. So... Uh, uh, I assume he's like the main guy that we need to talk to, so we're gonna talk to all the background characters first. No. I'm curious to know, what's in the biology lab? It's the only room that was sealed off in the f uh, 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 on the fifth floor. Is it zombies? Cause it looked like, it looked like zombies have attacked other peoples. Mm. Biology lab, huh? I wonder what could be inside. Oh, maybe it's like the secret lair of the, uh, the missing student. Or the hidden student, or the secret student. Or whatever we're calling him or her. I, I think it was a female name. I'm not sure. Based on what we've seen so far, a creature of some sort, dude. I'm thinking a tyrant-type final boss. Okay. This isn't a survival horror game, though. Isn't it? <laughs> In any case, there's no need to think too hard about it right now. There's no point in wasting your brain power pow po pondering, pondering unanswered questions. And with your limited mental faculties, you would all do well to pay some mind to just how it get how it gets used. 
Putting the wording aside, you have a good point. There's nothing wrong with how I worded it. Okay. Dabi. There's a there's a full-on botanical garden on the fifth floor, dude. I found a bunch of interesting stuff there. There's this monstrous flower, a chicken coop, and most interestingly, there's that shed, dude. Let's, okay, we'll go in that order because you said most interesting. Monokuma called that the Monokuma flower. It's apparently not a good idea to touch it either. So, we should probably watch out for that. And probably not go up to it and say, Oh, there's a coin here! It's a man-eating flower, dude. <laughs> this ain't like the others that come off of- uh, come out of pipes. Is that a- that's a Mario reference, right? I'm betting that's those- that's what those speaklers are for, dude! I'll read correctly eventually. It seems- it seems the sprinklers are set to go off automatically every morning at 7.30. Hmm. Don't forget it, dude. I wouldn't want to get wet and catch a cold. Uh. You'll be fine. They say idiots can't catch colds. Are you calling me an idiot or are you calling Hagekir the idiot? Because I hope, I hope it's him. <laughs> of course not. Idiots don't get wet. You are unnaturally stupid, but that kind of unnatural. <sighs> hey, I'm kind of worried about you, Hagekir. Do you know what 10 plus 10 is? Oh, oh come on now. Now you've gone too far. Just because I flunked out of three times doesn't mean I'm that dumb. Well, for argument's sake, I'll answer you. But, uh, hmm. What was the question again? Uh. Don't worry about it. I got all the answers I need. Yeah. All right, she can't say anything still, right? Mm. Hey, Togami, it looks like Fukawa wants to say something. None. And why are you telling me? Oi, oi. The keep it zip thing, dude. <laughs> ah, I forgot about that. Dude, that's almost criminally negligent. It is. <laughs> Fukawa, you're free to foul up the room with your halitosis? Ha ha halitosis. Halitosis. Is that bad breath? I think that's bad breath. If you so desire. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be the utmost of pleasures, my white knight. Uh, and you... Need not worry, my, my my breath is getting better, so it must be. <laughs> ah ha ha ha! Kawa's a tough one. You, you don't worry about me. Besides, my white knight and I are conver conversing. You stay out of it. So, what did you find? I found something eh, interesting in a fifth floor classroom. The this. A knife? Is that what the, uh, the, the slashing was done with? <laughs> it's huge, like something Rambo might carry around in his mouth. None. A survival knife, huh? But why was something like this in a classroom? D don't ask me. Well, we saw the slash marks. Put two and two together, Negi. Ah, uh, yeah, she's a... What do you intend to do with... The do to us with that knife, dude. Why are you, like, I, I... Nothing! <laughs> Nothing! I I just picked it up, that's all. It, it's dangerous to leave it sitting there. So, she has, like, a billion pairs of scissors. If she wanted to stab you, she would probably stab you with those. No, nothing up. And it's ten times more dangerous in the hands of a homicidal maniac like you, dude. Have you not learned that she is not yet the homicidal maniac until she sees blood or sneezes, I guess? <laughs> Le leave her out of this. She and I are nothing alike. Mm. Hey, more importantly, what should we do with it? 
Obviously, we can't let Kawa keep it, dude. Aside from that, I've got nothing. I, I wouldn't want something so barbaric anyway. Hmm, that is a problem. Why don't you give it to Negi? Am I gonna be framed for a murder? Huh? To me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you're a perfect match for the knife, Negs. Yes. Well, that was easy. Okay. Huh, hold on a second. Don't I get any say? I, should, I have to carry around this giant knife that's as big as I am? This just goes to show how much they trust you. Quite, uh, quit complaining and take it. That's trust. I feel like I'm just a convenient dumping ground. <laughs> All right, I'm giving the knife to Neki. Everyone else is on board with it, I guess. Uh, all right. I've got no choice. I suppose I'll just put it in my desk drawer. <sighs> that, that's all I have to report. <laughs> hey, Fukawa. <laughs> uh, it, is it my breath? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the, the for smelling. I'm sorry for smelling. I'm sorry for smell. This is hard to like watch and read like that 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 whole thing her whole character is is tough on me sometimes You made a decent discovery. I'm praising you <laughs> What 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 My white knight is praising me <laughs> That's great <laughs> <laughs> The, this is a dream. I'm in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> For me to be having dreams like this. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going crazy. <laughs> crazy. Seriously crazy. Wait. No. You can't. Not there. Ah, 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 ah,
Yes, it is possible that the massacre that occurred in that room is the male male malfaction from a year ago. The cause of that gruesome scene was the malification that happened a year ago? In other words, the malification referred to as the mass murder of Hope Academy students. With that in mind, we can explain why Hope Academy was forced to shut down. It makes sense, but damn, that's evil, dude. It's not just evil, it's super terribly evil. Evil indeed. Hopelessly evil. But, in any event, why hasn't anyone here heard about this if it was such a huge incident? Well, they obviously had the room sealed off, and the fact that the blood and stuff was still there means that it was probably covered up. Right? Maybe it was really hidden from the po Yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. 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 Okay. <laughs> An unusual classroom on the fifth floor. In all likelihood, a great deal of people died in that room. <laughs> in other words, it's possible the massacre that occurred there is the malification from a year ago. The cause of the gruesome scene was a malification that happened a year ago? <laughs> yes, the malification refers to a mass murder of Hope Academy. So oh, didn't we already re <laughs> Yeah, what? So... Okay, so do I talk to everyone again? Uh. I checked on- No? So. <laughs> Alright, do I leave? Leaving is out of the question right now. I've got to listen to everyone's reports. Did we skip over Kiri Gear? Uh, no. Was that someone else? The only room that's sealed on the fifth floor is the biology lab. Curious. I wonder what could be inside. <laughs> you needn't think hard. Okay. My <laughs> white knight put praises praise to me. Praise me. <laughs> I'm Coming for you in my dreams. I I I did the short end. I don't want to do those noises it, for you guys. I don't want to do those noises for you guys. I'll do those noises for you guys if you really want. If it's requested, comment below if you want me to do those noises for you guys. <sighs> Just let Kawa be, dude. <laughs> anyway, take good care of that knife, Nagi. It's four. Oh, wait! Right! Okay, he had three options. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. There were even real life chickens in the coop, weren't there? Hmm. Precisely five of them. <laughs> I love chickens! You're so cute! Let's all raise them together and make fried chicken. But grilled chicken is good too. What should we do? We should probably just use them for eggs. That seems like the logical explanation. <laughs> Aha! Let's have them raw! That's... I'm pretty sure you'll die. Yeah, you go ahead and eat raw chicken. You go ahead and eat raw chicken. <laughs> I mean, come on. New experiences. Like death. <sighs> You can keep your food poisoning to yourself, dude. Exactly. Your Salmonella Fitzgerald. Love it. All right. So we got that shed. So, you were bothered by the pickaxe too, Hegekir. Nanda. Pickaxe? It said diamond something on it, right? Uh, there's a pickaxe in the shed in that garden. In the garden. With the phrase, Crazy Diamond, carved into the handle. Does that ring a bell for anyone? Oh. 
Crazy Diamond. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. So. It's not just a feeling. We have all, in fact, seen those words before. Huh? huh? Where? Oh yeah, right? I remember. Anuwata's jacket. Yeah. Okay, so we actually saw it because we have it in our inventory. That's where it was, right, okay. The back of his jacket said Crazy Diamond, didn't it? You're right, it did. But why would the same phrase be on a pickaxe in the garden? Maybe Wada snuck into the shed and cart- How? Be you know, like... The we just gained access to the floor today! Maybe Iwata brought it with him and Monokuma confiscated it. That is possible. Either way, it's bugging me. It obviously has some connection with Iwata, but what? It's probably his gang. Mm. In any event, it wasn't the Pixa pick Pixax. It wasn't the Pixax that caught my eye in the shed. It wasn't? Oof. I was talking about the lawnmower, dude. I think we might be able to call for help with it. With the lawnmower. The lawnmower has a dial for help button. <laughs> How would you call for help with a lawnmower? <laughs> you still don't get it. We can make crop circle. We use the lawnmower to make crop circles. No. And call for them. Call for them. Mm. How did Hagekir end up like this? I assume food poisoning or LSD or pro probably LSD. Pro th that would be a good guess, LSD. When we first met, he wasn't anything like this. Daddy. Yeah, dude, my character hadn't been set in stone at that point yet. Uh. <laughs> this is very fourth wall breaking. You legitimately depress me. He legitimately depresses me too. <laughs> and with that, it seems everyone's made their reports. Ooh. What now, dude? Hmm. <laughs> Since from here on, you guys will be working as my subordinates, there's something I'd like to make clear. <laughs> Once again, how tall is that ivory tower? You're gonna put a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> So, what is it you want cleared up? <laughs> Kayoko Kirigiri's true identity. What? Hmm. Kirigiri's identity? She's Kirigiri, isn't she? <laughs> and who exactly is Kayoko Kirigiri? Each and every one of us has uh, has a clearly defined reason as to why we were selected to come to Hope. Hope. Asahina is the super duper high school swimmer. Hegekir is a super duper high school shaman. And Negi is the super duper high school luxter. More like unluxter right now, though. <laughs> but what about Kirigiri? Is there anyone here who knows? What? Kirigiri, uh. probably. That's right, she never told us, dude. Mm. She doesn't really like talking about herself. <laughs> this isn't a matter of what one likes or dislikes. This is a matter of trust. Can we trust someone who willfully hides their history from view? <laughs> Start talking, Kirigiri, so as to not invite any unnecessary suspicion. There's already unnecessary suspicion because we all want to know in the first place. <sighs> I can't. Huh? What? Why won't you tell us? Maybe she doesn't remember. I didn't say I wouldn't tell you. I said I can't tell you. What do you mean, dude? I don't remember. Huh? I have no memory of it. You have no... You mean... You have... Amnesia? 
Very soap opera. Mm. And it appears as though your sense of humor is sorely lacking. It's amusing how unamusing that joke was. D don't tell me. You were serious. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter to me. Whether you believe me or not, the truth will come out soon enough. So, you intend to maintain your silence until the bitter end then. Is that what this is? Well, you'd best forget about things going your way anymore. No. What are you going to do? Torture me? <laughs> I wouldn't stoop to something so savage. <laughs> I'm simply going to restrict your movements so you can't do anything unless... Uh, else suspicious. <laughs> restrict my movements? <laughs> Hand over your room... What, you're gonna lock her in her room, or you're going to not let her in her room? Her room key? If she gives you that. But it's against the rules to sleep outside a bedroom. She won't be able to sleep. If she doesn't like it, she can talk. It should be simple enough. She just needs to tell us about herself. Not if she... No... Like, okay, he's not factoring in the fact that she might actually just not remember. Hold on. What's threatening her going... Eva. Alright, fine. Maybe she doesn't sleep. <laughs> it seems she's had a change of heart. You going to talk now? Kirigiri approached Togami, not saying a word, and then... She handed him her room key. Masaka. You? Why? Because I'll sleep in Negi's room. Why are you so insistent on your silence? I told you this once already. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't tell you anything. D does that mean you were serious, Kirigiri? About your amnesia? How is that hard to believe with all the crazy stuff that's happening? If you think about it, it's not impossible. In the, ter in the terrible academy, where only terrible stuff happens, a little memory loss ain't so far-fetched. Exactly. Yeah. This terrible academy, where only terrible stuff happens, is really what this is, though? Is that really what this is, though? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Can you really say for sure that everything happens here is bad? Everything that happens here, yeah. I read that right. Well, what do you mean? Hmm. I think I've said too much. With that, Kirigiri turned her back to us and, without another word, walked off. Boy. Where do you think you're going? Damn. Don't worry, I won't do anything to get in your way. And those were her last words. Ever. Gary Gary's last word. Like, like, was really? The sound of the door closing behind Gary Gary resonated. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna assume we're gonna assume that that wasn't ever resonated through the silent cafetorium. Do, do what, what, what the heck is she, dude? Demo. I think. We might have gone a bit too far. I mean, taking her room key? We didn't do that. Jackass did that. F for her, that was ju just right. Or better yet, all the pressure excited her. And the more she's pushed, the hotter she gets. Where are you? Silence, Fukawa. Mm. Good. Oi. I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing and your heartbeat is like a fly in my ear. Okay, well, I wouldn't go that far. You telling her to die? Not that I don't understand the sentiment. In any event, what does Kiri Gary plan to do now? And this, this situation, it's exactly the same. 
exactly the same as when everyone was going up on Ugami. Ganging up, sorry. Uh, a thought occurred to me. Maybe she was a police investigator who got too close to the truth, so they wiped her memory and dumped her in here. Because that would explain why she knows so much about uh, detective work, right? Eh? Think about it. Unless you already know, then don't think about it. And I haven't changed either. I still can't. I still can't stop them. Ah! Whoa! Well, what's up, dude? Why start screaming all of a sudden? Over there. Y you! How long were you there? How long have you been there? I am unbelievably, unprecedentedly angry. Angry at what? At the thief. Sorry to say it, but one of you is a thief. What? Who stole it? Who stole my treasure? Your treasure? Mr. Monokuma believes in you guys, and you have, you guys, betrayed that trust. Oh, and to have you guys, that, that's why it didn't make sense. I'm, 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 I'm silly. Uh, these days, the world teems with anxiety and anguish. I can understand why people flee to their escape, escapism. What do you mean, treasure? Shut up. I hope you all get caught in a whirlpool of unemployment and debt. Do, do you do that? What the hell was that? And off he goes. What was that all about, dude? I have no idea. He said someone stole his treasure. Does anyone have any ideas? It's probably Kayoko Kirigiri's doing. What? Who other than her could do something like steal from Monokuma? Gary Gary stole something from Monokuma? If so, then... What did she steal? And why? Ding dong, ding dong. It's night time. We talked all day. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? The time is now 10 p.m. Night time is now in effect. The cafetorium is now off limits, and the doors will be locked momentarily. And with that, I wish you all good night. Sweet dreams. Uh-oh. We'd better get, get out of here. Looks like this conversation's on pause till tomorrow. Same with the Kiri stuff, too. <laughs> Putting Monokuma and Kirigiri aside, something in the air feels somewhat agitated. I would be extra careful tonight if I were you, and avoid leaving your rooms until morning. That goes without saying. Then you're dismissed. I'm going back to my room. And with that, everyone left the cafetorium and returned to their own rooms. Oh yeah, better put the knife I got from Fukawa. It should be safe in my dust drawer. Anyway, I wonder if Kirigiri is going to be alright. What's she going to do, since she can't get into her own room? Is there anything I can do for her? Anything I can do? Mm. Mm. Ding dong! She's gonna sleep with you, or sleep in your room. Hmm? I opened my eyes and realized I had fallen asleep at some point. But more importantly, someone rang the intercom? Alright, so we're actually gonna end this here. The suspense will build, and then we will find out what this is all about next episode. Thanks so much for watching, leave a like, comment on what you think of the game so far, go check out the other videos I've done, 
and I will see you soon. No, 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 no,